All right, so we got the history of Ganondorf. Let's get our see video. Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo, the human... The menace himself. The demon thief himself. Demon! Back. And it's certainly been a while. We last saw Ganondorf's human form causing trouble back in 2006 Twilight Princess, <laughs> where he was defeated by Link and Princess Zelda. But naturally, his fingerprints are all over the convoluted Zelda timeline. Straight heathen. And with Tears of the Kingdom reviving the Ginger Devil, what better time to refresh yourself on the history of The Legend of Zelda's iconic villain? So, from his origins within the desert-dwelling Gerudo tribe, through to his return in Tears of the Kingdom, this is the complete timeline of Ganondorf. Hey, that man Ganondorf, bro, first just things first, the basics. beard is Ganondorf, crazy. Ganondorf was featured in a multitude of different forms and guises across the franchise, which can confuse things slightly. So let's break down the key differences between your Ganons, your Ganondorfs, and even your Calamity Ganons. Okay. For starters, Ganondorf is the true human form of the iconic villain. A man yeah. born into the desert-dwelling, female-centric Gerudo tribe. Upon utilizing the power of the Triforce, Ganondorf is able to transform into the monstrous pig beast Ganon, who in short is a reincarnation of the original Demon King Demise. So it's like a Godzilla Ganondorf. version of Ganondorf. Born him very shortly. Right? And or finally, no? there's Calamity Ganon, who is, simply put, more of a destructive force of nature. A menace. Straight school threat menace. We only see this cold red Ganon menace in Breath of the Wild, which is set about 10,000 years into the future, and so presumably Ganon has rejected his physical form in order to fully commit to Demise's pure evil. He still looks a bit like a giant pig, though, albeit a nifty neon pink. Oh, and when he's having his 100 year long hibernation in Breath of the Wild, he takes on the form of a creepy spider like monster, too. So add that to the pile. Straight nuisance. Origins, okay, Origins of Ganondorf. While Ganondorf doesn't come into the complex Zelda timeline until Ocarina of Time, his origins actually start right back at the very beginning of it all with the cheerful tale of Demise. Demise was the original flame-haired demon king who rose from within a uh -oh. chasm in the ground at the beginning of time. After a lengthy battle between Demise and the goddess Hylia, the demon king was sealed away, but that seal didn't last. After a lengthy hibernation, Demise was finally reawakened by his flamboyant lieutenant, a lad called Girahim, during the conclusion of Skyward Sword. I didn't a know that. A hero known as Link and a girl called Zelda, who turns out to be the reborn goddess Hylia, by the way, were successful in fighting back against Demise. And upon his defeat at the hands of the Master Sword, he poured all his hatred for Hylia and the world into the iconic flame. This man Ganondorf is 0 and 67 against Link. Eternity. This man's literally and zero so on sixty-seven. The foundation for Ganondorf's rise to power was established. Ocarina of Time, okay, one of the best Zelda games okay. ever. During the era of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf is born into the Gerudo tribe. The desert-dwelling people have a strange tradition that sees one male born into their tribe every 100 years. Mm. And our Ganondorf just so happens to be that one lad in a century. And as per Gerudo custom, this makes him the de facto leader of the tribe. He's raised by the twin sisters Kume and Katake, aka Twin Rover. And as they're rotten to the core, Ganondorf grows up to be a real bad egg. Yep, a nuisance. His possession of rare magical ability and an all-consuming desire for power, Ganondorf rallied against the control of the Kingdom of Hyrule, killing and thieving in the name of the Gerudo, who he felt had been marginalized. After a lengthy civil war, the Gerudo tribe eventually swore fealty to Hyrule, and Ganondorf bent the knee to the king. But this act just provided him with the cover to secretly set in action his plans to seize the Triforce. And Ganondorf succeeded in this treacherous plan soon after his duplicitous deal with the king, shadowing young Link and following him into the sacred realm to take possession of the Triforce. Only when he got his hands on it, the Triforce split into three pieces, with only the Triforce of power <laughs> remaining in the hands of the Demon Thief. His invasion of the sacred realm turned Hyrule Castle and the surrounding town into a hellscape. Look at his cape malfunctioning at the top. <laughs> In his quest to own them all, Ganondorf came back into the path of the Hero of Time and Princess Zelda. And in his mad attempts to possess the entire Triforce, he transformed into the Dark Beast Ganon for the very first time. Heathen! Demon! <laughs> and well, oh. get a little confused. <laughs> Timeline split. Oh yeah, Zelda do get like... 50,000 different, uh, well, not oh, different yeah. timelines, but like different games. The split in Zelda is well documented. 
Yeah, they got like 20,000 different games, bro. Ganondorf is right at the heart of it. With all the timey-wimeyness of Ocarina of Time, the Zelda timeline splits three ways depending on various outcomes from the climactic battle between Link and Ganondorf. There's the hero is defeated branch and the hero is triumphant branch, yep. which itself splits two ways, yep. following a timeline where Link returns to his childhood and one which follows on after he vanishes. I like that though. I like how he did that. But our lad Ganondorf, or his alter ego Ganon, feature in all three of them. So let's get into it. Defeat timeline. Oh, snap. So he's not 0 on 67 against Link. Let's start with the defeat timeline. Ganondorf is successful in defeating the Hero of Time, and for his troubles, he takes possession of the full Triforce, which transforms him into his porky beast form Ganon. Despite his victory, he's still sealed away in the Sacred Realm by its protective sages, which allows a shaky peace to descend on Hyrule. But Ganondorf's sheer hatred and ill will towards the Hero of Time and Princess Zelda is enough to ensure that his imprisonment in the Sacred Realm isn't everlasting. And while in the Sacred Realm, Ganondorf gives it a little makeover, turning the place into the dark world that players visit in A Link to the Past. Well, we gotta see it. Hold up. Can we see it? Talking of a link to the I past, to see that's it. where we venture next. Seeking to break free of the dark world, Ganon sends the Priest of Darkness, Aghanim, to do his bidding and create a path to Hyrule wide enough for the giant pig to fit through. Only he's once again thwarted by a young hero dressed in green, who defeats him once and for all. So you are zero in sixty-seven against Link. You are. You're down bad. You're down bad, bro. Whatever you do, you cannot Ganon's beat that little dude in the, the green. Dark world eventually fades away. Ganon doesn't stay dead for long, though. He's resurrected via a dodgy ceremony led by his old mates, a pair of twin witches known as Twin Rover. Yeah, we just Witch. seen them. The ceremony itself is something of a botch job, though, and Twin Rover end up having to sacrifice themselves after Link's intervention, which leads to Ganon returning as a brainless pig. Suffice to say, this version of Ganon does not last long. Yeah, I mean, what? Ganon is then resurrected once again at the climax of A Link Between Worlds by an evil wizard fella called Yuga, who seeks to fuse himself with the giant pig oh my and God. his world of Lurul at the hands of its more privileged twin, Hyrule. Once again, a young lad in green rises to the challenge and- You are 0 in 97 against Link! But wait, there is one more resurrection in this branch of the timeline, and that's Ganon's appearance in the original 1986 Legend of Zelda. Yeah, he's four chances. He's screen in this iteration, though, and after so many resurrections, he's merely a shadow of his original human form. Either way, the giant pig has amassed an army of demons and is stormed through Hyrule, prompting the latest Princess Zelda to split the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces, which she scatters across the land. Enter Link once again, who hoovers up the Triforce pieces and definitively destroys Ganon. Bro, well, Link is four no against you bro ciao timeline okay let's hear about this okay let's put the never-ending resurrections to one side and rewind back to the pivotal chronology split at the end of ocarina of time to focus on the next branch the child timeline here we follow the outcome where link is successful in his fight against ganondorf and after having a big old celebration with zelda and the sages returns to his own childhood to warn a younger zelda of ganondorf's treachery this mm. leads to ganondorf's imprisonment and then eventual execution an event that we see play out in twilight princess but here's the kicker as link was in possession of the triforce of courage when he traveled back in time the remaining pieces found their way into the hands of zelda and ganondorf respectively and so when he stabbed through the chest in Twilight Princess with a great big bloody sword, the Triforce of Power protects him. What he's not protected from, though, is his subsequent banishment to the Twilight Realm. As he did previously with his exile to the Sacred Realm, Ganondorf works the new surroundings to his advantage, and he joins forces with an evil member of the Twilight race known as Zant. With magical powers gifted to him from Ganondorf, Zant's influence over the Twilight Realm increases, and he is this? an invasion on Hyrule with the backing of the Demon King. Zant knocks into an entirely new breed of Link, and he's eventually defeated by the elfin hero, who's aided by another Twilight known as Midnight. Who? Hey! But all of this is just subterfuge for Ganondorf's <laughs> ultimate endgame, which is complete dominion over Hyrule. He returns from the Twilight Realm and takes control of Hyrule Castle where he kidnaps and possesses Princess Zelda. <laughs> but after three rounds with Link, one of which sees the Demon King transform into Ganon, Ganondorf is finally defeated. And in his defeat, the Triforce of Power abandons him, which ultimately leads to his death. But that's certainly not the last we'll see of the Ginger Warlord. Ganondorf, you are time. zero oh, no. in a hundred. Ganondorf returned. Yep.
Ganondorf returns to cause havoc several hundred years later during the events of Four Swords <laughs> Adventures. The Hyrule Historia simply states he's born into the world, which, uh, I don't really know what to make of that. Either way, he's back and he's pissed. He starts by violating- I would be too! I'll be really angry if this dude beat me a thousand times. A powerful trident before nicking what? A dark mirror from the cheery sounding Temple of Darkness. The story of Four Swords Adventures is a bit of an afterthought to all the multiplayer dungeon <laughs> But in a nutshell, Ganondorf sets about resurrecting the evil wind sorcerer Vati, who literally hasn't been seen for millennia at this point in the timeline. As he's sealed within the fabled Four Sword, which itself also hasn't been seen since Jeez. The before Ocarina of Time, it prompts a mad adventure where Link is quadrupled by the aforementioned blade to Jeez. save the the Lynx defeat Varty in his Palace of Winds, which doesn't sound as intimidating as it's probably meant to, and that prompts Ganondorf to rage out into full Ganon mode. The four Lynx and Princess Zelda eventually defeat the Great Big Beast. Five on one is crazy, y'all. Ganondorf's story within the Child Era timeline to a close. <laughs> Adult timeline. All of which brings us to the final branch of the timeline, the Adult Era. Like the Child Era, this branch follows on from the conclusion where Link is successful in his fight against Ganondorf and the Demon King is sealed away in the Sacred Realm. Only this timeline continues on after the point where Link returned to his childhood. Okay. Confused? Join the club. Anyway, many years later, Ganondorf creeps up from the depths of the Sacred Realm to wreak carnage across the lands of Hyrule again. As the Hero of Time has vanished from this timeline, the Triforce of Courage is shattered into eight pieces and spread across the world. Yeah. And as a result, no hero emerges to save Hyrule from Ganondorf's destructive power. This prompts the reigning King of Hyrule to reach out to the gods for help. Their solution is to flood the entirety of the Kingdom of Hyrule, thus sealing Ganondorf away at the bottom of the ocean. I mean, okay. Hundreds of years pass, and as per usual, Ganondorf is resurrected <laughs> once again. He wastes no time in murdering a pair of sages who protect the Master Sword before taking up residence in the Forsaken Fortress. He uses this foreboding place as a base of operations for his search for Princess Zelda and the Triforce of Wisdom and he starts kidnapping young girls from across the seas in a relentless bid to find her. But unlucky for him, another young hero garbed in green <laughs> rises What up are they going to do? And this one's teamed up with a magnificent talking red boat, who turns out to be the reincarnation of the King of Hyrule. Really? This Link swans around the oceans, collecting Triforce shards and proving he's worthy of the Triforce of Courage. All of which leads towards an inevitable confrontation with the Demon King. This takes place at Ganon's Tower, which like the Kingdom of Hyrule, is currently resting at the bottom of the ocean. And it's here where the three pieces of the Triforce are finally reunited. With Link bearing the Courage section, Zelda the Wisdom piece and Ganondorf the Power Slab. As the unified Triforce grants divine wishes to those that touch it, Ganondorf immediately reaches out to it to fulfill his ultimate goal of reviving Hyrule and ruling over it. But in that moment, the King of Hyrule rocks up, beats him to the punch, and wishes for Hyrule to be sealed away forever. Where did you come from? And in the ensuing <laughs> Where did he and Zelda launch a coordinated attack on Ganondorf with the full might of the Master Sword and Zelda's light arrows. Hey! In these moments, Ganondorf reveals a core aspect of his motives for power all along, where he says, My country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my lands, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, it carried the same thing, death. For the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. Okay. I did that wind, I suppose. And with those compelling words still lingering, Ganondorf is turned to stone and buried at the bottom of the ocean. An act <gasps> that frees him from his never-ending lust for power and brings his story in this branch of the timeline to a close. Breath of the Wild Era. Okay, as I mentioned, that man right Link put the, the sword straight in his, in his head. head. That's the crazy. The Tears of the Kingdom era of the Zelda timeline actually take place more than. Bro, that looks so pretty. Oh my God, the pink. Oh, the... And they supposedly and somewhat confusingly unite all of the timeline strands into one brother. Chronology. Demise's never-ending curse is still soldiering on. Oh my God. Them. And as a result, Ganon is still being resurrected to terrorize Hyrule. In the prologue to Breath Look of the at that Wild, nuisance. we learn that Ganon has become a manifestation of pure evil, turning him into the devastating form of Calamity Ganon. This form of Ganon is so powerful that it requires the Sheikah tribe to create an entire army of robot guardians and four giant divine beasts just to keep him at bay, before he's sealed away by the latest incarnations of Link and Zelda. 
Fast forward 10 millennia and Calamity bro. Ganon returns once again. This and man Ganon, bro. Of Central Hyrule. Link Look at this. Zelda <laughs> survive by the skin of their teeth. But Link's wounds are so Yeah, severe, they barely got away from that. They barely got away. For a century. Zelda, meanwhile, uses her divine powers to hold Calamity Ganon. She did have to hold it down. I, I give her that. Castle. Cue another time jump to 100 years later. Link awakes and takes the fight to Calamity Ganon, eventually defeating the giant pig monster in the center of Hyrule. Obviously, yeah. And that pretty much leads us right up to the point where Link and Zelda discover Ganondorf's desiccated corpse in a crypt underneath Hyrule Castle in Tears of the Kingdom. As this is a history of Ganondorf video, I'm not going to be going into any detail on Ganondorf's story in Tears of the Kingdom, as at the time of this video's release, people will largely be discovering that for themselves, and I don't sure. want to spoil it. I hope you enjoyed this Ganondorf timeline. Thank you so Bro. much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Shout out to Game spot for this video man um yeah number one i can't lie i actually kind of like the the rivalry between uh ganondorf and uh in link i love that i love that rivalry i can't lie that might have to be well I, I can't say it's my favorite rivalry but um i can't lie as like a new zelda legend of, legend of zelda fan i can't lie that is a rivalry that i really uh that i really like to i don't know just dive straight into even though you know ganondorf you are zero literally and i mean zero and 87 against link it is what it is though I, you know listen listen we've all we've all had to be you know the, the new york jets one time in our life you know we've all been that down bad you know zero and 67 but guess what bro keep shooting it bro one of them's gonna <laughs> one of them's gonna hit bro you, you just need to keep shooting bro because every single time you try to plot your revenge and, and come through, that's the only person you cannot beat is Link. This man is literally three feet tall. You can no, bro, no, you cannot beat him. You can beat everybody else. You can kill anybody else. Link, that man, it, bro, he is untouchable to you, bro. But I can't lie though. I like Ganondorf as a villain, though. I like him as a villain. I can't lie. He seems like a pretty, uh, a pretty cool villain, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> he just. Bro, the other day I reacted to uh Ganondorf. Uh he killed a princess. Oh my god, what was her name? It wasn't Zelda. It was like a friend of Zelda's. It was she was like she was like she was like friends with like the princess, whatever, or something like that. Bro, that man's smile had me absolutely dead in the inside and on the outside, bro. Absolutely hilarious, bro. Go check that, <laughs> go check that video out. <laughs> the way he was smiling and grinning, bro, was crazy. Um, <laughs> other than that, comment down below what you guys think about this. It's actually nice to know uh, the you know uh, Ganondorf's lore uh, in this game, and, um, and yeah, I mean we'll we'll see um, it, you know what, what holds tomorrow for more Zelda videos. Uh, you guys have been you know loving these Zelda videos, which is why I keep doing them because number one, it is uh, the new game that's out. Number two, uh, I would consider myself right now uh, a big fan. Of, of Zelda. Uh, I, I'm a new big fan of Zelda. I can't lie. Just hopped into it. I'm glad that I hopped into it, though. I'm I'm really glad that I uh, that I hopped into Zelda. Like, you know, literally recently. I'll probably say like I'm... I'll probably say about a month and a half ago. That's when I first hopped into Zelda. Like, I, obviously, I knew what Zelda... Like, I knew, you know, the game Zelda. I knew, you know, Link, Ganondorf. I knew all that. I just never played the games before. Or I just never watched videos on it before. I just, just never, you know... And then... When I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try, and I liked it. So, other than that, uh, comment down, the comment down below, like the video, do whatever you want. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later in the next video, and uh, yeah, peace out. See